Last week, we sailed 460 miles through the Sierra Cortez to where we hauled out in Puerto Penasco. Puerto Penasco sits at the northern end of the Sierra Cortez, just an hour from the border in Arizona. We are heading home soon to do a much needed visit with family and friends. But before we do, we have to get the boat prepared to live in the hot desert for a few months without us. We are Liz and Rui, sailing on a 1982 Cal 39. Join us each week as we sail into the unknown and see what amazing things can happen when we let go of the mustn'ts and believe in the power of adventure. So we've been here a couple days now and uh, done some projects, just getting the boat ready to head home for a bit. But today we're gonna head down to the local hardware store and uh, pick up some things just to get a head start on some projects. Since Puerto Penasco is a somewhat new haul out spot for sailboats, there isn't a whole lot of options for shops to pick up things for the boat, and most people just mail in what they need. Alright, so the first project we're going to do before we leave is obviously scraping all this layers of bottom paint. I don't even know how many layers are on this, but there's a lot. <laughs> and sanding it all off. So, you get to wear a fun suit, lots of protection. So I don't look like a try to look as least like a smurf as I can. Also super toxic. It exists. <laughs> what? All right, I think I'm ready. Unfortunately, I didn't get far in the sanding, as my orbital sander was stolen that night. Well, it's morning time and we're getting moved. And it's a first for everything. Rui is actually still asleep. <laughs> but, uh, getting to ride the boat to the new location on the slings. Should be fun. <laughs> waiting to be transferred to the kind of trolley that moves us into the other yard. But while we're here, I'll just show you what actually carries the boat and how it gets moved around. So these are the slings, and there's two of them. Used more for uh, different types of boats, but we just have two, one behind the keel and one in front. And they're pretty thin. But they're pretty strong too, obviously. They can carry our boat. But uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy to be stuck up here and hanging on slings. <laughs> That's where the guy drives from. There's the cables that guide the uh, slings, you can see. 
and yeah that's the thing that carries boats around when they're in the yard and pulling them out of the water I still can't believe I'm just hanging on slings right now <laughs> and that Rui's still asleep <laughs> but I'm an early riser so <laughs> yeah hopefully uh, I'll be able to get off in some point soon but I don't have to go to the bathroom <laughs> We were able to get off soon after that, and after I had woken Rui up. Then we got to watch our boat cross the road, which was the first for me. Why did the boat cross the road? Because of all the peer pressure. <laughs> Sorry, no more dumb jokes. crazy to see your boat on a street. <laughs> the travel lift the boat is now on is controlled by a remote control. It was pretty impressive watching the guy weave the boat in between the catamaran on the left and the monohull on the right. Alright, so uh, we've been getting along with some projects, uh, getting the boat cleaned and ready. Um, and today is Pickle the Water Maker Day. So uh, I got the storage compound from a shop in La Paz and got it up here because there's nothing around here that sells anything to pickle a water maker with. So a little bit more expensive than I wanted to pay, but uh, got it, so it's okay. So just got to um, start mixing it up and uh, I'll show you the process of pickling our water maker. I'm getting it ready for storage. <laughs> All right, so this is the storage compound from Spectra. It's called SC1. It's basically like a alcohol-free based um, propylene glycol. Um, so I have a gallon of water here mixed in um, in two bowls, and just gonna mix it up. And uh, this will be what we run through the water maker. Try and get an even amount in both bowls. And then stir it up so it all breaks down into water. All right, so. Our system is a little bit different because we uh, changed it from an elect all electric system or uh, automatic to a manual system when we installed this. So um, it's a little bit different than uh, the Spectra with the computers. All right, so the first thing is to uh, turn the pressure valve down since we're using fresh water to flush the system and turn it down a little bit. And then we got here a pot of fresh water um, to flush to the system. So we're going to do that first. To get rid of all the salt water. Yep. We're going to do this first to get rid of all the salt water. So this is, this hose is the one that, uh, brings in the water from the ocean through our through hole. So we're going to disconnect here. The water from the inside. All right, so that's just. There's lots of holes you can pull down. I know. Just as it is. Oh, well, cool. I see what you're saying. There, there we go. And the through hole for the discharge is open, so go ahead and run it. I'm just flushing out the salt water out of the system. Alright. 
Now I gotta get to the hose back here um, and disconnect it, which I need some light. There you go. And I can't wait to take all this out when we come back and redo this whole system to make it easier to get to things. <laughs> No space back here to get this. Uh -huh. <sighs> hmm. Maybe easier said than done. You were saying? <sighs> All right, Riri's gonna give it a try because I can get this hose off right now, and it's a tight spot, so. Guys, off. So you're just pulling the hose back through the sides, right next to the the water maker from this side, the discharge hose. And you got it. Good job, babe. All right. So now it's time to run through the storage compound through this system. So we put it all in this bigger bin, which is a bit easier. And this is the hose, the intake hose for the water, and then this is the discharge hose, which is still connected to there. Okay, so we're good. And then just turn it on with our switch, Boop. and it'll run through. So let's just do this for about 10 minutes as instructed, and then. Uh, should be all good to go. So here you can see all this stuff that's coming cleaning through the system. This is why you clean the system and pickle it. So that just doesn't sit in the water maker while you're out on the hard or just not using the water maker. But yeah, it's definitely a different color than when it started. <laughs> shut it off and then the next step is just to uh, empty this pail and send it through the discharge. So. All right, all connected back up. All right, so we're gonna put the water intake hose back in the original pot uh, where we got the fresh water flush in and uh, send it through the system. And that's it. All right, so what are we doing now, babe? Right now we're going to get rid of the salt water for the uh, engine. So we've uh, turned off the raw water intake and uh, I was using the sim intake for the water maker. So it's nice because we actually have a hose that's tied onto it on the inside. So instead of going through the strainer, which would I normally do, but this strainer is a little old, <laughs> a little old probably going to replace it with a new one. Uh, I just removed the intake for the water maker and I'm going to use it to intake fresh water in to put in the whole engine uh, cooling system to flush it out from salt water to fresh water. Yeah. Make our engine last a little longer, right? Yeah, keep things from rusting. Yeah. No more salt water in there. It'll be uh, fresh water till we come back. Right. Or till we put it in the water. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I've never started my engine on the hard before, so this is a first for me. Um, I'm a little nervous about it, but I think we got it good. So I'm downstairs with the old tanks that we use for the water maker. And this is where the fresh water is going to come from. And I have some backup as well to run it through. So I'll be keeping an eye on this uh, when Marie starts the engine. And then uh, fill it up and um, 
wait until it all flushes through. And then we'll have a freshwater flush through the engine. Go ahead, start the engine. Nice fresh water engine now. All done, yeah? Yeah, we removed the salt water and got some fresh water in there. So no more salt water just sitting in the engine. Gloriness! <laughs>
So we're gonna go take some showers and then go and grab something to eat and then get on the bus and head up to Phoenix. We said our last goodbyes to our home and headed out in the hot sun to the shuttle that took us to Phoenix, Arizona, where we would be flying from to head home. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button, give the video a like, and comment below on your thoughts. These are all free ways to help our channel grow. Thanks so much. Until next time, cheers! said this before. Oh, I hit my head. Let me do that again. <laughs> That's good for a blooper video. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's try this again.